That was one of the great um, performance experiences of my life. I uh, also terrifying, um, you know, much like uh, Saturday Night Live. But it's good to be terrified. It's good to get out of your comfort zone. It's great to do things like that. And I loved it. And I loved to dance. And I had a great dancing partner in Tony Dovolani. Uh, the only um, thing that made it more challenging, as if it isn't challenging enough, and it is, uh, is that I was working in New York at the same time that we were doing Dancing with the Stars on the West Coast. I was doing All My Children in New York. And the thought behind that is that uh, our executive producer didn't want to give me leave of absence to do Dancing with the Stars because, and I understand this, she said, if you're going to bring in a new audience from being on Dancing with the Stars, when they tune All My Children, they want to see you on All My Children. So I understood that. And I had seen Cameron Matheson before me accomplish this. And I thought, OK. And Cameron told me which flights to take, the earliest flight out Saturday morning, go to, new, go to LA and uh, take the red eye back Tuesday night. And I did all my children on Thursday and Friday, as many shows as I could do in two days. Uh, I had Wednesday off, but we took the red eye back Tuesday night. Tony went to Connecticut for a couple hours. I went home to Long Island. We took a couple hours nap. Showered, went back to a dance studio and danced. That was the day we got the most dancing in, in New York because otherwise we danced after all my children finished taping at night in New York. Pretty soon, because we were doing November sweeps um, with extra special effects and extra material, we had less and less time to dance at night. I was getting really scared. Fly back to LA. Um, and on Thursday, you really had to know the, the dance because they, they needed to shoot it without any mistakes in order to know how to produce it where the camera shots would be, where the lights would be, all of that. So it, it was pretty terrifying. For myself, I never felt like I had enough rehearsal time. I could learn the dances. I learned the dances. But I never had that extra thing where you get the dance in your body. So that I never felt I could really perform the dances uh, and give them all that was due them. And having said all that, I had the best time. Terrifying when that announcer says live and now dancing the cha cha, and they say your name, and but so much fun at the same time. What a great experience! Yeah, and you had an injury as well. Oh, I did, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it was the fifth dance, it was the um, jive. And Tony and I were up first for rehearsal in the morning, <clears throat> so the studio was a little bit cold, and um, I you know, my body was not all warmed up yet. I should have probably done a little more working out before I went to that studio in the morning. But I was going through Tony's legs, sliding through on the floor, and I caught my ankle. And uh, it didn't feel so good, but I didn't say anything. I thought, it'll, it'll pass. And um, anyway, uh, it came time for the dress rehearsal, which was at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's the jives. There's a lot of... Um, jumping from foot to foot and flicks and kicks. And um, Tony was such a great teacher. And Tony had eyes in the back of his head. So I'm dancing next to him, trying to do these kicks and flicks. And, and, I, and I missed a step. And he said to me, what's the matter? What's wrong? And I said, nothing. But he knew. He said, what happened? And I told him what had happened earlier in the morning. You know, you don't want to also dan disappoint your dancing partner. They put so much into it. And you do, you know, but you, you're a team. And um, he was so wonderful. He said, he picked me up, took me to my trailer, because, I mean, it was pretty swollen. My ankle was pretty swollen at the time. The medics came. They took me to Cedar sinai And I did have, um, I actually had two fractured bones. And, but you know, I could, I could still do it. And the, and the, um, the doctor said to me, he takes care of, of dancers and uh, athletes. And he said, I see that look in your eyes. He said, you can dance, aren't you? I said, I really want to. And as long as I can take it, I'd like to. So um, I had a lot of Advil in me, uh, a leave, actually. <laughs> and um, they wrapped my ankle. But a lot of the dancers have wrapped ankles. I mean, they do. And, um, and so I could do it. And, uh, and I continued. I think I lasted three more weeks after that, or three more dances, anyhow. And 
I had a great time.